All right, guys, so today we're going to rebuild this electric motor. I don't know the horsepower of this. It has no nameplate on it, so we know no information. This motor had nine leads, which means it's dual voltage. We can run this on high voltage or low voltage. It is three phase. You can see that each one of those leads is attached to one end of a coil, which is a number 16 wire. This is the one thing I'm going to change. And here is our Y point right here. So you can see that we have three wires going to this. This is our neutral point or our internal Y. Once I pulled one of the coils out, I was able to determine that this is a 1 to 10 span because the coil that I pulled out was in one slot and then 10 slots over in the other. It's really nice when these burn out good because you can really pull these coils out with ease. I was actually able to pull quite a few of these out intact and lay them down so you guys can see how these are lapped inside that stator. But one thing, whenever I see these in a linear fashion like this, it makes me think of a railgun. Once we've got that original winding out, we're going to clean up the stator. We're going to start cutting our paper so that we can re-insulate all of our slots. These were flat bottom slots, but there was a massive amount of room in these slots. So I'm not going to crease the bottom. I'm just going to insulate these and move forward. I did switch the wire from 116 to 219s. It has the same circular mill area. So the only thing we're doing is we're having two wires in parallel instead of one wire. This specific motor is for an industrial sized mixer. So a mixer that's probably five foot, five and a half feet tall. It's generally not good practice to have a lot of room in that slot because these wires are going to vibrate with our line frequency. They're going to rub together. They'll wear through that enamel insulation on the wire and possibly short together. But this thing has been running for a very long time. This is an old motor, so I'm going to trust this design. It hasn't had issues in a long time. Cheers.